sum summarise your performance with? <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while since I got on the pitch, but it's really nice to be back with the girls. Um, it felt nice to be back in Tallis Stadium playing with the crowd. But yeah, looking forward to the next few days, see what it brings. First start in over a year for Ireland as well? First start probably in over a year for football, <laughs> but nah, um, feeling good. Training's been going well the last two weeks, so feeling positive. You had a chance in the first half, uh, went the wrong side, went the wrong side of the post, took it first time. Do you think with a bit more sharpness, how do you how do you assess the sort of opportunities in you know, the next week? Um, I guess it just came at me. I, the last thing I seen was the ball, and I kind of hit hit my stride. So we'll work on that in training. Are you happy to get, would you want more minutes or 45, is that enough for you? No, I think we agreed with 45, there's a few players we kind of had sorted that out before the game, so. Uh, how about yourself, do you have more in the legs now or do you need a bit more, a bit more work? Um, well, I had a tough two weeks of training, but hopefully there's more in the legs, of course, yeah. yeah hopefully now with that performance that you're a bit closer to getting to Australia or what's yeah. the thinking yourself? <laughs> I hope so, fingers crossed anyway, thank you. What was it like watching the second half of the on? It must have been a bit frustrating because Ireland kind of kicked into gear a bit more and, and I suppose created a little more. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's great to see the girls. Listen, we want to be going into a World Cup with wins under our belt, so it's positive. Of course, um, it's great to see all the girls giving them, give them the best opportunity to take their chances, so yeah, it's been good. And you know a big few, big few days lie ahead as well. Relax over the, over the weekend now and see what's to come. Seems to be yeah, taking it all in your stride. That's it, what can you do? It's out of your control. So, relax and see what's to come. Yeah, so, what, what is the, so you have the weekend off now. Is there a day where you will actually know? know I think it's sometime next week. So we're brought in for a few days and then we're told. So I'm not sure when, but I know there is a set date that has to be done. So I presume you will find out as soon as we do. So. Is it a bit frustrating, you know, the way it's sold out to have a stadium, but you could see a few, quite a few when you as empty seats. Was that kind of frustrating for you guys? Like, it'd be great to have the full house, obviously. Obviously, it'd be great to have the full house, and it'll be a great job when the fourth stand is open. But listen, everybody tried to come, and it was a great crowd tonight. I could hear them roaring and shouting even from inside the change room before we come out. So, yeah, it's been good. Did your family then to watch the game soon? I had a few down, yeah. It's been a while. Um, since I played football, so there's a, good, there's a few of them down, my sister and her friend, and that's what was nice. Yeah, just talk to us a little bit about you saying with the squad announcement next week. Is it better to have a couple of days off, or does it make it harder? <laughs> I don't know, I just think what's meant to be will be, and what's for you won't pass you, so just chill and see what happens. I can't control it now, so. Can we just ask Elian a little bit about wearing the, the Ireland jersey again? Obviously, it's been it's a pinatar last year, your last game that you, you started for Ireland. Yeah. And I suppose, obviously, it was a few months for you just to, to be back in the jersey, to be back in the team, to be there for, for the anthems, all of that. Like that must have been amazing again. Yeah, every listen. As a young kid, like I always wanted to represent my country and to represent it at a senior level and have a chance of going to the World Cup is like a dream come true. And us Irish, um, it's a great group of girls, and of course, we're very proud to wear the jersey. And um, just looking forward to the next two weeks. I have to just say, you're very relaxed for someone who has a World Cup in front of them. When you think back to when you were sitting at home with your foot up, you're just glad to get to this stage now at this moment. Do you know what? When you're lying out in the gym for nine months <laughs> and you just do anything to get the opportunity just to, to be in and prove a point and do well in training. And listen, I work, no, I worked hard the last nine months, so let's see what happens. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.